Hi guys, welcome back to C++ Code Solution with Khomatsak and Peculiar. Today we're working on a repetition control structures problem. You can also send in your problems to have them practiced here on our platform on our Gmail account. And this is our problem for today. Write and run a C++ program that accepts 10 values of gallons, one at a time, and converts each value entered to its liter equivalent before the next value is requested. Use a for loop in your program. Use the fact that one gallon is equals to 3.785 liters. So what we have to do here is just basically convert the user input value, which is in gallons, to liters. But this is done 10 times after every user input. Seems easy, right? Okay, let's get on with it then. Let's build our code structure. Check out this video on the thumbnail for understanding of hash include, IO stream, and for using namespace, std, and other C++ keywords and libraries. So the first thing first is declarations. Remember that you can use a variable, undeclared. You will get an error. For our problem, we inform that we are converting from gallons to liters, meaning we'll be working with these two values, gallons and liters. So we will create variables to carry these values as double. In order to carry out calculations, or rather conversions in our case, we need the values. Now let's prompt the user for input. This is just as instructed on the problem question. How do we now convert this user input to liters? We are told that one gallon is equal to 3.785 liters, meaning that two gallons would be two times 3.785 liters. So whatever value of gallon we have, we multiply this by 3.785 to get the values in liters. So now we can output this. But remember that this is supposed to be executed 10 times using a loop, a for loop to be specific. Remember loops are repetition control structures and this example is perfect to show where relevant to use a loop. When sequences have a repetitive pattern and that, that's why they are called repetitive control structures. A loop has the start of the count, where the count ends and how the count is executed in even spaces of tree, descending, or anyhow. We are doing a count of 10 repetitions. So we start at a 1, and we're ending at a 10. And we are ascending from 1 to 10, with 1 added after the count. Now there. Now let's save our code. Compile and run. Error, something like that. Liters here. This is an unknown variable because we didn't declare it this way. And on the output also, there's no R on the keyword return. Hmm? Great, now let's try the 10 inputs. The first, the second input.
the third one the fourth the seventh input the eighth input and the last one the tenth input we did great a pat on the back and a standing ovation great work surely you keep surprising yourself right now keep coding and see how easy it gets remember to always analyze your code in order to ensure that you understand it before trying to write it i'll see you on our next video